Here we go, folks. We're going to feature another motor built by Pete Ardema and Kevin Braun. This is the three liter sheet metal motor. Pete wasn't satisfied with what was out there on the market for four cylinder motors, so he decided to build his own. And um, he wanted something that was a big bore, short stroke, four cylinder that could produce two and a half plus horsepower per cubic inch. So here you're going to hear Pete tell you about that. All right, folks, we're here again at Pete Ardema's shop, and uh, he's going to explain the sheet metal motor that you guys made a few years right. ago. So this is, uh, you want to tell us about that? or how? Yeah, it's about six years ago, we were working on the Mall A a lot, and it's four by four, 220 inches, something like that, 201, 201. Um, constant problems. Couldn't spin it up, high RPM. Uh -huh. I told Scott, let's just build our own engine. So we took a piece of channel iron, and shaped it kind of like a U, kind of like this. Uh -huh. I'll draw this out. So we we took a piece of channel, a quarter inch, or not channel, but sheet stock, and had it bent. So we made up like a like a shoe box. Okay. And then we bored four holes in here for the sleeves or the cylinders. We used a big block Chevy bore spacing. So the distance from one piston to the next is 484. 840. 4840. Same as the big block Chevy. Then we took some thick wall pipe, four and a half inch pipe tubing, and welded it on that channel. Like that. Okay. We wanted to, then we also built these inserts for the, the for the main caps okay five of them and then we made a plate that had five holes in it or i'm sorry four holes right for this pipe and we welded all that together then we took sheet metal and we put it on the side here we closed it in so if you look at it from the end like this the half inch plate which is the head sonar surface Here's the tube, and then we put sheet metal here. Okay, so that's where the water dragon is. And the are. water goes in between here and here. Here's the crank, the three inch stroke, four and a quarter inch bore, which makes three liter, which is a class for Bonneville. This particular engine has got low compression pistons in it. We're gonna turbo it. Kevin made a three valve head for it, two intake valves and one exhaust valve. Twin cam, it sits up here. Yes, you made it. We made the cam, they had it. But you didn't buy it from Summit Magazine? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, nobody makes a bore spacing of that big other than a big block Chevy. And that's a push rod engine, and that's against my uh, better judgment. Yeah. So we, uh, we've we got a half a dozen records with it, I believe. We had it in the Roadster. Okay. We've never had it in this car. We're kind of, we've got all the records we can get with a four liter that, mm -hmm. that you've seen, right? So can we see the motor in the car? Sure. Um, Which side we want is the better side? The, we want to save the V12 for Bonneville. We don't want to swap engines every week. So, so this is it. Yeah, it's a lot of plumbing and crap on it. So, okay, so here's the block that you just explained. So right. that's the sheet metal. So that's the channel, that part that flares right. out a little bit. Then Kevin made an aluminum girdle that goes on the bottom, which is, holds the cat crank in. Which like, kind of like the V12? Like, all, the, like okay. all our engines. Um, it made 390 horsepower wow. on gas, natural, and then we broke it. <laughs> um, the belt came loose and we broke, hurt the crank. Yeah. So is, and what about the cylinder head? You guys built that? Yeah, it's a three, three valve, one, in, one exhaust, two intakes, twin cams. Um, I don't have, I don't have it off, but it's, uh, it's like all the heads we made. And this is a uh, turbo. Brand new turbo. Uh, and all your exhaust work on that this, side. We'll try and run this in May and June at El Mirage. Then we'll put the 12 in the car and take it to Bonneville in August. We never got a good run with the 12. Yeah, so but this one has produced good results. The sheet metal, the three liter. Yeah, we got records with it. It's a good engine. If you can make two, two and a quarter per cubic inch at Bonneville, you can get record, natural. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try and go 
with a blown gas and blown fuel record, which is around 210, 220. So we need about uh, 200 and, no, we need about five, almost 600 horsepower. Okay. Uh, which is what the four liter did. So you're saying about 600 in this? With a, with a blower. With the blower. So this will... Well, the, so. the Hondas are making, you know, eight, nine hundred two liter Honda. With the S2000 motor? Yeah, the 2000, with a blower. Okay. And those V6s, those three and a half liters, they'll make a thousand horsepower with a blower. Jeez. Um, so 600 shouldn't be too hard. This was your normally aspirated header. I'm going to come around. Right. That's good. So you got your oil pump down here. Kind of yep. like this. A, um, that's a pump off of a IndyCar. IndyCar oil pump. Yeah, it looks pretty intense. It's Bra huge. Bratton, Bratton, Brayton, Bratton, something like that. Okay, then there's your two injectors per cylinder. Yeah, I see that. Two injectors per cylinder. And are you running that same MoTeC controller on this? Um, Dry sub. It's a P3. Same one we run on all the cars. This is this is for the, for the computer. Okay. So we're in the process. We got till May to get this running. So this is your whole enchilada. I'm gonna come around the other side, Pete. I just want to see. I want to get that exhaust work on there too. Yeah. See the exhaust. I got a household with exhaust. All right. That's pretty cool. That turbo looks pretty nice. That's pretty big. And this is your intercooler. So it's there's two intercoolers welded together. Um, this is the water tank. It fills up full ice before we take off. It pumps water through this cooler, cools the air, and then it goes into the intake. Jeez. Pretty intricate. Uh, this is our six feed. Yeah, you're running the Liberty Air Shift. Right. That's been a very helpful. Yeah, that was, that was a big, big improvement big, this year, wasn't it? Big improvement. Good morning. Pretty cool, Pete. Well, thank you. I'm gonna. Uh, post this and see what the folks think of your sheet metal motor yeah thank you <laughs> yeah thank you it's in hot rod oh it is in uh, hot rod so it's in it's a article i gave you it's October. oh yeah what is it january of seven i think okay um, i'll put that information in there you, so folks can research the, it the, the brochure on it all right well, thanks pete i appreciate it